everybody. Thanks for joining me for my weekend forecast. Uh, we're looking at our forecast being dominated by, especially on Saturday, by a kind of hybrid uh, tropical slash not so tropical system, kind of a hybrid system, halfway between tropical and non-tropical system, uh, riding up the coast um, and giving us hopefully our first chance at steady rain. Uh, that'll be earlier in the day on Friday or Saturday, excuse me, and then there'll be lots of options for um, showers to as to follow as a front kind of moves through and sweeps that all out of here. And it's not much of a front. Um, unfortunately, it won't be pushing all the humidity out of here. But anyway, um, let's take a quick look and see what that uh, storm looks like. Uh, this is, uh, remember I record these on Thursday afternoons. Um, for my patrons, I get them Thursday evening and then everybody else gets some Friday evening. But this is our hybrid storm which is coming together here off the Carolinas. You can see there's a swirl in the clouds. Um, is, if this was winter time, you'd think this was a uh, nor'easter kind of developing here. Um, it has some char tropical characteristics. There's not a lot of, uh, unlike with a the nor'easter, there's usually a lot of uh, air temperature dynamics involved. This one does not have that. But it, um, there is a bunch of kind of warm, moist air, and it is kind of going to slide up the coast. And then it's going to take one of two tracks, a more kind of straight north track would, which would give us more rain or perhaps a track kind of to our east and maybe track through southeastern New Hampshire in which case we would get a little bit less rain but we should still see some pretty steady rain out of this. Um, why is that going to happen? Well, uh, if we look at the upper level, what we've got here is we've got this trough over the eastern part of the United States. Um, you can just barely make out, um, it, this is really a low level system here because that, that's part of the tropical nature of it. Um, and this uh, ridge, essentially the storm's got some, uh, it's got a lot of places to go here because there's, there's some space underneath the ridge to kind of ride up as it will before it does finally get caught up in the westerly winds here which will push it eventually uh, as this trough starts to slowly slide towards us it'll eventually push it off. Uh, to our north and our east. Um, so basically that's our main driver of the weather. What does that look like for practical purposes? Well, um, for Saturday, we're going to start cloudy. The steady rain will be in the morning. Well, actually, some of it will come Friday night overnight, and then it will be into the uh, into Saturday morning. Um, we'll see some scattered showers and thunderstorms later in the day, as we'll still be soupy, and those will be more air mass thunderstorms. There's definitely a chance some of those could be a little bit stronger, um, so we should keep an eye out for that. It's going to be very humid. Uh, lows on Monday or on uh, Saturday morning are going to be near 70. Uh, dew points will be about 70 um, all day, which is very soupy be afternoon highs in the lower 80s. It's not a great outdoor day, even when it's not raining, which there will definitely be some periods of not raining in the afternoon. Um, other thing to keep an eye out, if we get any sun on Saturday afternoon, those thunderstorms could get a little stronger. So if you see any sun on Saturday afternoon, just really keep an eye out for thunderstorms. Um, then on Sunday, uh, we're still kind of in the soup, mostly cloudy. We'll see some more breaks of sun on Sunday. Sunday's a better day. It's still going to be sticky, although a little bit less sticky, I think, than it was on Saturday. Um, there is definitely some afternoon showers or a thunderstorm possible. Those thunderstorms should be pretty run-of-the-mill. I wouldn't really think any of those get to severe. Uh, temperatures are pretty similar. We're in the upper 60s uh, uh, in the morning on Sunday, and then in the afternoon, we're, in the, we're around 80 depending on how much sun we get. Uh, so that's a better day for outdoor activities. Uh, thanks for joining me for my weekend forecast. These get posted every Thursday for my patrons, every Friday evening at 6 p.m. for everybody else. And you can also catch me on Monday morning at 7 a.m. for the work week forecast. Um, if you're interested in uh, what you get uh, for being a patron, here are the benefits. And uh, thank you to my patrons who've been supporting my work uh, and uh, helping make sure that the equipment is up to date and that we have an opportunity to share these forecasts with you. Uh, stay hydrated this weekend and try to enjoy in between the raindrops. We'll see you again on Monday.